Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn your Galaxy Note 3 into an S6 Edge Plus slash Note 5, sort of. Let's go ahead and do this, baby. Alright guys, so I've got uh, my Sprint Galaxy Note 3, my T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3. Uh, they are actually all running the normal ROM. This is my international SMN9005. This ROM can be installed on many different Note 3s, as you can see. For the T-Mobile version, you'll be able to install it, but you'll lose NFC. So just know that if you don't need an NFC, you should be good to go. Uh, this ROM also can be installed on N9006. Also the Japanese, the Korean models. Um, so that is really cool. So this is the normal ROM. All right, normal ROM. And it's not fully complete, like for S Pen features, you'll see that we still don't get the cool new air command from the Note 5. Alright, you'll get the old Note 4, which is still not bad. And let me go ahead and show you my new air command. Obviously you don't get that, you don't have the off-screen memos and all that good goodies. But otherwise, you'll get everything else from the Note 5. Um, you'll be able to get the different grid sizes, uh, the themes, you know, and also the icons, which is probably huge. So you get the exact same icons from the Note 5. Um, you even get customized battery icons, uh, also customized icons for your signals, which is really cool. Right, probably the coolest feature on this Norma ROM is, of course, you have the edge screen and app shortcut, just like it. Now, I've turned off my people edge. That way I can just use the app edge, app edge. Um, but you can go ahead and turn that on, then you'll be able to use both, just like Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So this is really nice. You'll have the features from S6 Edge Plus right there on your Note 3. As far as the speed on this ROM is actually pretty rather quick. For most things, you'll not notice a difference. Um, it will actually run faster than the stock Lollipop ROMs for the Note 3. Um, also, let me go ahead and choose settings here. And if you go to about device, um, you'll notice that it is running Android 5.0.2. Your model number changes to SMG9250. Um, don't worry about that too much. As long as your baseband stays for your model number, that's all that matters. Uh, but very nice ROM. And also you do have an option of installing the Note 4 camera, Note 3 camera. I'll show you in the Roma installer or the S6 camera. Actually, the S6 camera works near flawless. All right, you get the S6 camera. Most of the features actually work quite well. Even the pro mode works. Now, just one word of caution, don't use the uh, manual focus, which is this button, but everything else works like white balance works. ISO doesn't seem to work, so just set it on uh, auto. And exposure works, you can make it bright or dark on the scene. And my favorite feature here from the Galaxy S6, uh, none of these modes actually work, it's all screwed up, but what you can do if you go to the bottom, uh, you can make your own presets. Go to your preset here, and if you hit the pencil button, uh, the shadows don't work, it'll mess it up, right? If you want to get cool inverted effects, um, you can use that. But everything else works. The highlights can be very useful. Uh, for example, um, you're somewhere where there's a lot of street car lighting and you don't want that in your photo, you can bring this down. Um, also, you can mess with the saturation, which works, sort of. All right, let me just bring down this. Um, let me make my own scene here. Contrast works just fine. All right, and tint. Dude, that looks all weird. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea here. You can make your own presets. It's not perfect, but it's there. You can mess around with it. Uh, better than not having it. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can also do all the modes uh, that is possible. With the N9005, you'll be able to do 1080p 60 frames per second. UHD, uh, all working well. Also, you have all these other modes. Now, the only thing missing right now is the YouTube live streaming mode. Uh, but that should be updated shortly. That's just a matter of changing out the AP, APK file from the Note 5 or the S6 Edge Plus. So in the next update, we should be able to see it. But for right now, camera works pretty flawless. And also another really cool thing. Um, I really love this feature. You can do double tap from the screen off and you can go straight into taking a photo. All right, it's not, there we go. 
So that is really nice. That just shadows is covering my teleprompter over there. Let's check out the front camera real quick. All right, the, when the camera loads, it's a little bit slow, but it's not too bad. Selfies work very well. So you'll be able to enjoy the latest Galaxy S camera or the Note 5 camera or the S6 Edge camera right there on your Note 3. So very, very nice ROM. I really love it. Battery is pretty good. Performance is very good. Uh, the only lag you'll notice is when you launch camera. That's just due to the fact that we're trying to run S6 camera on the Note 3. Um, so this is a great way to revitalize your phone. And let me go ahead and show you how to install it. Go ahead and power off your phone. All right, once powered off, we're going to go ahead and hold down volume up, center home, and the power. Volume up, center home, and the power. And when you see the logo, go ahead and let go of all the buttons and you should enter into your tour recovery or clock mode recovery. Now you should have downloaded the ROM before doing this. Obviously, that's common sense, right? Uh, but if you don't know how to install ROM, if you don't know how to root your phone yet, go to my site. Go see the article to the actual tutorial guide and you'll find all the links you need there. Go ahead and do install and go ahead and find the Norma S6 blah blah dot zip. Install, this will give you all of the different options and I'll walk you through. All right, go ahead and hit next when you see that. Um, if you're coming from a, another custom ROM, I do recommend a full wipe or you can do dirty flash. If you're flashing this over again, maybe changing some of the features, hit next. All right, there are different kernels for N9005 for what I'm using, I'm using Arter kernel. I think it's good. Also, if you're using N9006, make sure you choose N9006. N9008, go ahead and choose that. Uh, Galaxy J, I think the Japanese version, go ahead and choose that. And also for Sprint, go ahead and choose N900P. For T-Mobile, go ahead and try N900T. All right, and also Korean model. So that's all nice and dandy. So go ahead and hit next. Um, you can go ahead and choose the S6 camera like I did. If you don't like it, go ahead and rerun Aroma Installer, do a dirty wipe and install another camera. That will allow you to change the camera later. Next, uh, battery switch style. You can go with three minute with S Finder. I recommend the Viper Sound, uh, which is Viper for Android. And also you can go ahead and choose an S6 launcher, which is uh, basically the Note 5 launcher. Well, it's an S6 launcher with Note 5 icons. Uh, also go ahead and choose your CSC. Uh, if you don't have CSC, maybe you're using T-Mobile or Sprint, um, just go ahead and choose any of them. Go ahead and hit next, and that's pretty much it. That will install your ROM. Uh, once rebooted, you get to enjoy the Note 5 slash S6 Edge Plus ROM on your Note 3. Definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. If you have a phone that is supported, have a lot of fun, guys. And I will have an update soon uh, when all the features from the Note 5 are available. Uh, that way we'll get the new air command and be able to take notes. It should be here soon. Uh, both for Note 3, Note 4. I'm not sure about Note 2. It's a slightly older device, but maybe. But have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus Instagram. And join me on my next live stream. Maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I will see you guys soon. As always, I'll stay.